<laughs> we're on to the next. And T.J. Watt just wants to keep winning, and their defenses are going to keep ruining guys. The Steelers and the Vikings are 3-0. and The Steelers and the Vikings are 3-0. and Just have to say it one more time, Peter, so I make sure I fully understand what's happening in mid-September. I'm going to cover up my jacket here. Peter, which one has your attention at 3-0? and <laughs> I think the Vikings have been the story of the NFL okay. through three weeks. Uh, Jamie, you're wearing that Vikings jacket, and I'm telling you, it feels like vintage Vikings because it's the offense and it's the defense, and they're just so well coached. You look at what Kevin O'Connell's gotten out of Sam Darnold. You could look at this thing on paper and say, well, J.J. McCarthy went down with the injury. They, they had issues, obviously, all summer with, uh, you know, is Jefferson going to be on the team or not? He is. He gets paid all stuff. It, they have not missed a beat with Darnold. One-year deal, Darnold has been as good as any quarterback in the NFL this season. He looks efficient. And yet, it's not just the offense. This defense yeah. has been unbelievable. Brian Flores' unit gave up seven points to a Houston Texans team that everyone was raving about going into this. They had five sacks. They had two interceptions. The Houston Texans were three of 13 on third down. This game was never in question. It really wasn't. No, it wasn't. And right when it seemed like, okay, maybe the Texans could get a comeback – the Vikings defense put them away. Vikings have now beaten the 49ers and the Texans in back-to-back -back weeks. Find me a better two teams that you can beat and beat in the fashion that they did. I'd like to see it. Kevin O'Connell already has one of those Coach of the Year trophies somewhere in his house. He's awesome. Um, he's already putting himself in good position to win another. Mm. Mm. I hear you, Pete. Now, you know what? I, I like your take, but I'm going to have to go on, on the other side. Gotta go I'm gonna go, yeah, I got to go with the Steel Curtain. Yeah, I mean, the, the Steelers are taking care of business. You talk about a team that was coming into training camp with two quarterbacks, okay? A quarterback that they got on discount double check and another quarterback that traded they were there mm -hmm. because he wanted to be there and play underneath that quarterback. And now all of a sudden, you find yourself in a situation where you're now. 3-0. and oh. Justin Fields is showing up in a big way for this organization. He's showing up for Tomlin, and he's just not messing up. And as the season continues on, he's finding ways to find himself, this new version of himself with this new organization, and they're winning ball games. So let's go ahead and look at some of his stats. Going down, <clears throat> looking, at, looking at Justin Fields right here, you guys see what he did, in, obviously, in 21 to 23. Mm. But now look at this year, because his completion rate is up to 73%. I'll take any quarterback that gives me 73% completion rate his QB passer rating 95 sacks he's only taken two sacks and he is not giving the ball away his first turnover was this most recent week with the one interception that he had and you talk about not only is he doing well this offense is just now starting to figure themselves out they haven't done a lot offensively but they're still getting dubs let's look at it three offensive touchdowns okay they are averaging only four first downs uh, per per game sorry per quarter and these guys have 10 field goals. So they're finding a way to get victories by messy play. But as they're going on, they're getting better. And I think somebody else is going to talk a little bit about the defense. I just want to focus on the offense. Mm. No, listen, I hear that, and I love what the Vikings are doing. And I tweeted it yesterday. It's probably the best, most surprising story in the entire NFL. But I have to talk about the Steelers. They're not going to make the playoffs this year. They don't have a quarterback. This is the year it all comes back down to earth. Everybody told me. Everybody said it. And I tried to tell people, it's the Steelers. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. Do you think they were in the playoffs because of Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph and Duck Hodges? It doesn't Duck Hodges. matter. Peter remembers Duck Hodges. Do you? It doesn't matter. The Steelers' defense, I think, is probably the greatest thing in the league right now. And I mean that like... I don't know if there's any offense in the league that's better than the Steelers' defense. I don't know if there's any defense that's better than the Steelers' defense. It's not just Watt. It's all hands on deck, and it is getting historic, even for their standards. Here's the history nugget. Peter, you're going to love this. love this. Three straight games to start the season, they have allowed 10 or fewer points. 10-6-10. <sighs> have the Steelers ever done that before? Have they ever done it? Steel curtain, maybe once, twice. Oh, they did it 50 years ago. Bring up the footage. <laughs> Bring it. That's it. Yeah. That's the last time. That is the 73 Steelers who were like 11 boogeymen out there just destroying people on AstroTurf. This is great. Then you don't do this in 2024. Mean Joe Green. You could do anything you wanted on the field yeah, back then. Yeah, they're playing Nothing they're playing is allowed. On metal. Yes. Hey, Phipps. 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 Sit down, Phipps. <laughs> Guys, the Steelers are doing this in the offensive league. They're doing this against Kirk Cousins, Sean Payton, Justin Herberts. They're wrecking people. It is so fun to watch. You watch Steelers games? 
They don't go to red zone very much if you watch on red zone because the other team is never in the red zone. <laughs> Do you understand? It. Do you understand what's coming? If you think this is just a fast start, the next few weeks they're going against Anthony Richardson. That should be fun. <laughs> Dak Prescott. That should be fun. Gardner Minshew. Do they face Phipps. Yeah, no, they don't face Phipps. I don't know if Phipps is no longer with us. They do finally face Aaron Rodgers, and that one's going to be ridiculously cool. Can we get some research on Phipps? Yeah. We don't know his first name. Browns we don't know what happened to him. Browns Phipps. are at P-H-I-P-P-S. I know he played against the Steelers because his ass kicked, just like everyone is now 50 years later. I love the Vikings. It's a great story. The Steelers defense is not a great story. It's a terrible, horrifying story. You want to come down from the stands as a mother and take your children off the field when you play against them, and I wouldn't blame you. Get out of their way. Do it now. I told you guys. It doesn't matter. Stop doubting the Steelers, you idiots. They're going to win the division. Watch the Steelers go to the Super Bowl. I'm what do you, you think you are, Phipps? What are you doing, Phipps? <laughs> Show yourself. Show yourself, Tweet Phipps. the show, Phipps. Yeah. Is Phipps on Twitter? He's 